before I sit down, um, I want to first say thank you to the amazing, genius guy next to me. And I want to make something very clear before we get into insanity next day. When I create a workout, I don't do it just because you need something else to sell. When Carl tells me to do a workout, and we can talk about it a little bit, I originally was like, no, I'm not doing it. It's way too hard. I was in Australia, I was on the toilet, Larry called me. <laughs> Larry called me and was like, no, you know, Carl was thinking of this, we have this amazing idea, let's do Insanity Max 30. I'm like, no, we need to do T25. No, no, we're not doing it. After talking and thinking about it for a while, I was like, okay, I know how we can make this work. Before I tell you how we do how we can make this work, I do this because I'm passionate about what I do. I don't just put a workout out there just so you have something to jump around and scream about. Because at the end of the day, it's not about the exercise that you're, that you're doing. Yeah, we have 150 new moves, it's great, it's cool. What it's really about is you pushing yourself so that when you finish one of our programs, before you move on to the next program, you have developed this as a lifestyle for yourself. And that is where we get into max out. The reason why we want to max out is because if you push yourself every single day as hard as you can go, and then you take a break and say, okay, I did the best that I could, and now I'm going to finish this as, as strong as I can do it, every single day becomes a fit test for you. Every single day becomes a fit test for life. Carl gives the analogy of when you're outside and you're running and you, you see light pole. You're like, today I'm going to make it to this light pole as fast as I can. And in Saturday Max 30 and in exercise in general, it's about plateaus. Every single day we hear on our, on our social media, hey, Sean, I reached a plateau and I just, I don't know what to do. A plateau is not a barrier. A plateau is a new beginning. And with Insanity Max 30, if you think every single day that I'm going to go into this workout and work as hard as I possibly can, plateaus every single day will become a new beginning because you're writing down the minute you reach that max. And the next day or the next time you do that workout, you're like, that's going to be my beginning, even if it's only going one second longer. So thank you for letting me create Insanity Max 30. And I hope you're excited about it, not just because you can sell it, because you can help change people. So um, let's, I want to describe really what people just saw a little bit and uh, and you're going to give them a sneak peek this afternoon? Sure. Oh, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. <laughs> just, just to give you a sense of it, we were doing the names of the, of, the, of the programs and there's one workout that you do on Friday that's super hard, we'll get the description, but we were going to call it OMFG. <laughs> No, I don't think there's some people that are going to pass the test. Um, but I know that a program's going to be good and popular when I can watch Robert Hudgens and his mouth falls open for five minutes because he's not normally a mouth breather, and uh, and he like there was like he's like ready to go. <laughs> so let's so the max thirty concept is this is not just insanity in thirty minutes. What's exciting about this is this concept that every minute is actually what matters, and there's a modifier. So here's how it works, and then I'll, I'll let you go into more detail. So we made it, and the, and the, the, um, the screen, the graphics on the screen make it so that from the first moment that you start working out, you are working out. But, and every minute, you want to just try to get to that next minute. So it's like you're running. And you're running at a pace, and you're like, I'm just going to make it to that next telephone pole at this pace. Oh, because last time I couldn't get to that telephone pole at this pace. Oh, now I get to the next one, and then the next one. So every day, like you said, a fit test. Max 30 means, instead of somebody coming into the arena of insanity and going, I'm going to hang with Sean for 45 minutes, I can't do it. And remember, there's no modifier in insanity, in insanity uh, proper. So with this one, you want to go to your max, hang with Sean on the majority of the cast as long as you can. And then when you hit your max and you need to take a break, you write that down. What they were doing uh, on screen was they ran back to this chalkboard and as best they could, they're writing the time down. So, so, that they, so that every day you know, I made it to seven minutes. I made it to seven minutes, 30 seconds. Imagine, okay, it's a 60 day program. The first day you can only hang with Sean for a minute. The next day, 
you make it a minute 30. The next day, maybe you make it two minutes. If you can make 30 seconds of progress every day for 60 days, by the end of 60 days, you will max 30 and feel like a hero. Woo! That's the way to measure and gamify fitness. This is a true breakthrough. Very exciting stuff. Describe the workouts a little bit. Describe the, the organization of the program. Absolutely. So I know a lot of you are wondering, so what's different about this other than the time? What's different um, between Max 30 and Insanity? And so I'm going to show you. I'm going to tell you. So it starts off with Cardio Challenge. Cardio Challenge acts as your first fit test. You do the workout and see how far you can go, how hard you can go. When you have to take your first break that's not given to you, you write down the time. So if it's five minutes, if it's three minutes, if it's one minute, if it's 12 minutes, while doing perfect form, of course, um, you write down the time. Then what happens is each day, each workout you do, you write down the time for that particular workout. And on the calendar, you'll be able to go back and like, okay, when I did this workout last time, I did five minutes, now I'm gonna go five minutes and 30 seconds. But the breakdown of it is like this. Insanity, you did a 10 and a half minute warm up, you did a five minute stretch, you did four moves, 30 seconds, 30 second rest after each four moves. Insanity max 30, you do a warm up, you get a quick break to get some water and find your life. And then you go into, <laughs> and then you go into three exercises. This is month one cardio. You go into three exercises at 30 seconds each. You do three rounds of that, which brings you to four and a half minutes, and then you get your 30 second break and you do five rounds of that in, in your cardio workout. So that's um, cardio challenge and um, sweat intervals. So the other thing we do with Insanity is, you know, we had max power, max plyo, we had cardio, cardio power and resistance. You know, the push-ups and all the strength workouts were included in just about every single workout. So with Insanity Max 30, we wanted you to really focus on strength and saying your body is your equipment and getting a strength workout by, by using your body. So we took the Tabata style workout and put a little Shanti twist to it, of course. So the first month you do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off of drop sets. So if you do you know, some crazy push-up, the next one will not be as crazy. And each set that you do, which is uh, eight of them, the push-up becomes less intense, but it obviously becomes more intense because your chest is still burning from the move before. That's one point, so that's Tabata style. Then you get to Friday fight. Friday fight is 30 minutes of hell, basically. It's like pure cardio on crack. Um, <laughs> But the amazing thing about it is it's a fight, it's a test of will. It's on Friday. Most people, as we all know, Friday's the day that most of your clients out there like, all right, I gotta work out, like, okay, you know, it's the end of the week. But we put the hardest workout at the end of the week so you can measure your progress and say, okay, just because it's the end of the week don't mean I need, don't need to max out to so be a Friday fight. Saturday, you have pulse. It's kind of like a recovery workout, but it's more focused on form, Core cardio imbalance is a low impact um, version of the workout. Speaking of low impact, I'll talk about the modifier. In T25, we did a modifier, and the feedback we got was like, well, I can't see the modifier every time. Well, the amazing thing about Insanity Max 30 is on the DVD screen, you can choose to have the modifier locked off the entire time. Wow. So, <laughs> you have, so you have the modifier there, and you have Sean T over here. Um, but sometimes it goes over there. And I'm very happy to say that um, Danielle, as you saw, Danielle and Scott are the modifiers in this, and they were so excited. I can tell you a quick funny story. We were all working out one day. We literally go into my gym at my house, close the door. It was Tanya, Scott, Darren, me, Danielle, people who are really passionate about the program. We start working out. Scott and Danielle are modifying. Me, Tanya, and Darren are dying. <laughs> The modifiers are dying, so I'm like, what you guys dying about? Y'all ain't here, y'all. And they're like, this shit is hard. Like, it's hard. <laughs> Not that I think modifiers do less, but I'm like, we're jumping in here. But what I realized, which was amazing, is that just because you're modifying, you're not doing less work. I, I, honestly, you're keeping your muscles engaged a little longer because when we do go in there, even though it takes more power to jump off the ground, we actually get a bit of a rest. The modifier, you get down, but you're still using your quad. So it's really fun, and you'll be able to see the modifier the entire time, and I'm very happy about that because everybody's like, I can't see the 
see the time you were doing in 225. So you can see it now. Um, so then we get to Mom 2. Mom 2 cardio. Same format, three exercises, 30 seconds each. It takes you three rounds. It takes you four and a half minutes. But then I had a power move of one minute. So the round becomes five and a half minutes, and you do six rounds of that. It's hell on earth. But by the time you get to Mom 2, you still won't be ready for it. Um, and then the Tabata, same style Tabata for um, Tabata power and Tabata, I mean, sorry, max power, max power, and max out strength. You do 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest with six rounds of that with the drop sets. Um, it's very exciting. Friday fight round two will bring you home and um, you'll take a little deeper. All right, so uh, you got a sense that you put so much into this, and I gotta tell you, being there for the shoot itself, it was like watching a knife fight. I mean, just, this thing gets started and it is, a, it is an absolute battle. You go into this like you're, you're suiting up and it was just incredible to watch. I think people are really gonna love this thing and again, uh, similar to what we did uh, with prior launches, we'll get deeper into the details of this as time goes by. Um, Trying to change the slide, but they're not seeing my little light play. <laughs> so, so you know, be in this sort of base kit category, FAQ 147 for details, and we'll put the uh, uh, the email collector. You can send your customers with the referring coach ID, so you can get all that information. And uh, you know, again, as we go into December, you you've got a couple of buckets of potential customers for this that are very exciting. You got people who you know bought Insanity either from you or from TV, over uh, or almost $400 million of sales of that product. That means there's a lot of people out there that have experienced insanity and would love this version of it. Uh, and, and those two things can coexist. There's another bucket of people who did uh, T25 uh, because either they were intimidated by it, intimidated by insanity or they just like the idea of the shorter workouts and are gonna love taking it to this other level because people are just like, you can almost watch the weight fall off the people in front of you. It's like, wow, you're before and after, like, yeah, they work out. It's amazing. <laughs> so, so, yeah, there's going to be, there's just going to be a lot of demand for this product. We're expecting it to just, you know, fly out the door, so we're going to ramp up uh, the supply chain, make sure we have enough inventory so that it can be a great holiday item, a great gift item for the people who you know who are both uh, want to have access to uh, the latest in fitness, but who also might also have an affinity for Sean T and Insanity. So look for it in December, we'll talk about it more, and another big one, my man. Yeah, so thank you. I want to say one thing. If you come to, if you, I would really invite you to come to the workout tonight, because I'm not just going to do one workout. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through how each of the workouts are different with insanity. So I'll take you through a month one cardio, a month two cardio, a month one strength, a month two strength, so you can actually get a gist of what the program Because I want you to know what you're talking about. I don't want you to just be like, hey, Sean T has another program. Like, I want you to understand. So even if you don't do my workouts, there are people you, maybe some of your clients will want to buy it. I just invite you to come try it out and understand so you can see how it works so you can talk to it first person. So thank you guys very much. I'm going to let my man continue to go on.